Welcome to the third of the grade 12 trig theory trio of videos. In this final theory video, we will first have a look at the double angle expansions and then also at applications of both compound and double angles. So considering sine of 2a first, it is easiest to see how it comes together if we first write 2a as a plus a and then expand using the compound angle formula for sine of a plus b, where the second a will take the place of b. Can you see, because of the equal angles, that this creates like terms? Which, if we then add together, gives us 2 sine a cos a, which is the expansion for sine of a double angle. There's a little more to what happens when we do the same process for cos. Let's have a look. Again, the first step is to change 2a to a plus a and expand using the cos compound angle formula for the sum of two angles. This expansion, because of the equal angles, gives you cos a cos a minus sine a sine a, which simplifies to cos squared a minus sine squared a. So this is one expansion of cos of a double angle, but because of the squared terms, however, we have the opportunity to use the squared identity to write this in different forms. A reminder here of the sine squared plus cos squared equals 1 identity and the different ways it can be used. So here we can replace sine squared a with 1 minus cos squared a, and then by multiplying out the brackets and watching your signs, this simplifies to 2 cos squared a minus 1, a second way to expand cos of a double angle. Again, notice here that the cos term is first. Remember, just like cos compound angles, cos is all about cos. Over here, we can replace cos squared a with 1 minus sine squared a from the identity, and this time it simplifies to 1 minus 2 sine squared a, a third way to expand cos of a double angle. In other words, there are three different options for the expansion of cos of a double angle. Here is a summary of all the double angle formulae, which you may find helpful to look through at this point in your learning. Hopefully, having worked through how these came about will help you to recognize and, more importantly, to be able to remember them more easily. You may be wondering at this point how to know which of the cos double angles to use when, well, next we're going to look at what applying the compound and double angles looks like in just two examples. So here are the two examples. I know there are a lot of tans around. Remember, tan of an angle equals sine over cos of that angle. Pause the video here to give these a try before moving on to see the solution for each. The first step in this example is the application of the tan identity then followed by the expansion of sine compound angle in the numerator and cos compound angle in the denominator. As you look further through this solution, you will see it also tests your knowledge of axes angle values. So here with sine of 90 and cos of 90, remember to use your graphs to help you if you need to double check rather than reaching for your calculator. This then simplifies to cos over negative sine which is the inverse of tan, which is the right-hand side of the equation. The solution to the second question is quite a bit longer. Let's take it one step at a time. Remember, when proving identities, you have to be very convincing in your proof, and so no steps or parts of the process can be left out. Okay, first let's apply the tan identity. Fortunately, doing this lands us with denominators that are the same, which means we can add the numerators. We now have sine of a double angle here, which we can expand. Seeing as though there is only one option, we can go for it to sine a cos a. And then we also have a 1 and cos of a double angle, which both need us to make a decision. And the decision on what to do with them is based on what you have in the rest of the expression. If you are not sure and struggle to imagine how it will unfold, then try different options again and again until it works out. I use the saying, 
think with your ink, as there are no mistakes here, but simply about not giving up until you find the combination of options that works for the particular example. In this case, if we consider replacing the 1 with sine squared plus cos squared, we can see a trinomial in sine and cos forming in the numerator. This then guides us to expand cos double angle using both sine and cos. In other words, the option where cos 2a equals cos squared a minus sine squared a. We then rely on our algebra to get us all the way through factorizing and simplifying, the whole time keeping our eye on the right hand side to see if we're on the right track, heading towards where the question requires us to go. In this case, the right hand side is in terms of tan, and because our expression is in terms of sine and cos, we will need to think of how to use the tan identity to get us back to tan. There is also an alternative approach which we always have the option to use and that is to start each side separately and see if we can work them towards each other. Here is the illustration of this other approach and sometimes this can feel simpler. As you can see here, we've expanded the right hand side using the tan identity and so in this example, we were able to prove left-hand side equal to right-hand side by getting each side to reach a point where they were equal. Here are some summaries to wrap up the trig theory videos. A reminder of the tan identity and the squared identity in all its different forms. Remember always to learn all your identities from left to right and from right to left. And a summary of the compound and double angle formulae, again remembering to learn them in both directions. There is a great exercise in our Grade 12 Maths 2 in 1 study guide on page 23, which will assist you in getting really comfortable and confident with this section of trig. Thank you for watching this trio of trig theory videos. We hope you enjoy the rest of the series as you now get stuck into the content of this topic. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series, your key to exam success.